Good morning crew and welcome to raw vlog number 42. Raw vlogs are recorded in front of a live steering wheel on my way to getting coffee. Today's raw vlog is all about change. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, this is going to depend on what channel you're watching right now. If you are watching whichever channel you're watching, if you click this link up here, it's going to take you to my companion channel. Uh, which, if you've watched the raw vlogs before, um, you'll know something is up. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into channel news. We are making a brand new channel for these raw vlogs as well as potentially some additional other kind of talky content. Um, I haven't set anything up yet. Well, let me get into that other channel. The other channel, if you're on the MTB Allen channel right now, the other channel is Airhorn. That's the new channel and it's going to be housing these raw vlogs. If you're on Airhorn, the other channel is MTB Allen and that's my main uh, mountain biking content. So uh, I'll talk about why we're changing in just a little bit. Other channel news, uh, episode two, or sorry, part two of the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival is coming out this Monday. I'm, I've got the first cut done and I'm gonna continue to cut that down and get it down to a reasonable length. Uh, it'll be covering days two and three. Um, day two, I hung out at the festival a bunch, and in day three, I hung out, or sorry, I hung out at the festival some on day two, and then went and rode with Donna Ellsworth and did hogs. And then on day three, I pretty much just hung out at the festival and uh, hung out with Shane the Crashing Dad, with uh, Joseph from Trail Features, and Paul the Punter. Uh, we also saw Seth's bike hacks. Uh, we hung out with him a little bit, but but not much. In any case, um, yeah, that's what's coming up on the channel. Um, if you're wondering I, if, if I'm actually going and getting coffee right now due to current events, um, I'm going to Stell like I normally do. They have a new protocol where I think they're only allowing a couple of people in at a time and everything is to go. And I haven't been to Stell all week, so today we are gonna be doing special big order, uh, partly because it's just kind of a treat for me, but also I want to support Stell as best as I can. So I'm gonna be ordering big coffee and sandwich or like a breakfast sandwich and something just generally more than I do um, yeah so where was I at what's the okay so crew we're gonna talk about change today and uh, we're talking about change for a number of reasons the main reason being just general current events I know a lot of people's lives right now are are shifted a bit hopefully your changes are uh, mostly just inconvenient and are on our like just low-cost changes um, uh, uh, I really hope uh, you're not having to deal with, with too much tragedy right now if you are my heart goes out to you um, uh, do what you can to stay positive uh, so yeah but moving on um, so we're talking about change also because these raw vlogs are being moved to Airhorn. Um, and I did put out a poll and a, a little more than half of you said that I shouldn't move these raw vlogs to a new channel. And of the other somewhat half of you, um, a fair bit of you were like, I don't care. And the other ones were saying yes. Um, and then as you may guess, I get a vote too. And I decided that because it was kind of like you know half and half uh, that I sh would then kind of take some other things in under advisement and I decided that it would be best for my core channel my well, not my core channel my main uh, mountain bike content writing and and uh, product reviews and stuff like that that's going to uh, benefit from uh, from being just a bit of a cleaner channel and then what the Airhorn channel is going to hopefully allow us to do is um, do maybe some more like talk oriented things. 
I haven't really set anything up. Um, I've had a couple of conversations with a few people. There are some potentials. There's some potential for doing some sort of podcast or something. Don't know yet. Nothing set in stone. Um, but yeah, that'll just kind of make it nicer for that. Um, we'll still be very, very mountain bike oriented and trail oriented in in the Airhorn Channel. So yeah. Uh, all it really means for you, all I'm asking you to do is to, if you're not on the Airhorn channel right now, go over there, click on this link, go over there, hit the subscribe button. All my previous 41 episodes are on that um, channel, so you won't be losing anything over there. Uh, and uh, it just means that you need to go over there, subscribe, hit that bell. You'll still be getting the raw vlogs every Friday morning and nothing will change. It'll still show up in your feed. You'll just see a different logo. I used the, I used my Airhorn sticker logo for that. It really just kind of made sense because um, I'm always like using the Airhorn to bleep out my uh, curse words. It doesn't necessarily mean I'll be cursing more on the Airhorn channel, but it does mean it's just kind of a lot of the like non-riding stuff, the kind of more raw and unedited stuff. Uh, there's a place for that now. Uh, so yeah, please go to Airhorn. If you're not already there, hit the subscribe button. If you're on Airhorn now, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you'll know when the raw vlogs are coming out as well as anything else new that comes out on Airhorn. So yeah, let's jump into, uh, um, actually, and if you have any comments on that, questions on that, please hit me in the comment section. Um, so let's get into our main subject matter. We are talking today about change. And the reason, uh, so like I said earlier, I know a lot of people are experiencing a lot of change in their lives. I know I am. I'm currently working from home a lot. My CrossFit gym is like shut down for now. Well, the, the facility is shut down, um, but we're doing uh, work from a uh, workout at home. Uh, through that through their programming and they're doing really cool stuff there and what I've seen a lot of people do uh, through the the venue of social media is is really adapt to the these changing circumstances and I, I've, it's actually really kind of made me aware of just how cool some of these people are I'm gonna just give big shout outs to block CrossFit right now because because they've done just an excellent job at uh, not only making the the programming available online and through social media they've really made it about community and they found ways to keep us connected to each other uh, they had a meeting with the coaches and then uh, uh, have you know kind of brought the coaching uh, the coaches all the coaches into the their social media feeds and, and made it so that it, it, it kind of feels like you're still going to class. We've even got some like competitions and stuff that we're doing uh, to, you know, that we'll do virtually uh, to stay connected with each other. People are teaming up, digitally teaming up. And I, I just think that's, it's pretty cool. It, it just kind of shows that like community can, uh, can you know, community and connections will survive these things. That's funny. That's my head coach right now, uh, just showing up to do his part to support Cell. How oh, funny, I was just talking about him and there he is. Um, yeah, so a couple of, you know, that's one example. I know if, I don't know if you saw Loic Bruni's uh, post about doing a spin class. That was freaking hilarious. It was also really rad. I've never really, I mean, we always knew Loic Bruni was goofy, but it was like, it was really crazy to see just how freaking goofy that guy is. So we're getting to see things that we don't normally see, which kind of brings me to um, some of the like kind of bullet points I wanted to hit real quick. Um, so when you're talking about, I actually brought notes because I, I, got, I really wanted to get this good. I wanted to get this right. Um, dealing with change can be stressful. And a lot of that I find for me comes from just a general feeling that I'm like losing something. And if there's one thing that we humans uh, uh, hate is loss, feeling like we've got, we're losing something. So 
I find it really useful to adapt a, a mindset of learning and and growth when I have change put upon me in my life where you know there's definitely changes I make myself and and those are really empowering too and I, I suggest that that's a, a really good way to do it um, but we have these circumstances like right now where where change is being kind of thrust upon us and I approach change like that with a mindset of learning if I'm in a mindset of being relatively static or defensive with what how things are and I don't want things to change that's where my frustration and stress comes from approaching it from this learning attitude it allows me to to be open to this change and and it allows me to see things that I didn't necessarily see before and it also allows me to see the same things in different ways um, and I can really learn from that like some of the examples I can think of is, you know, the first time I went to a group ride or first time I went to um, a, a competition like the Fox US Open. And then most recently, the first time I went to a mountain bike festival and just saw more of the mountain bike community, saw the community in a different way and just came away with a whole bunch of stoke. Riding different trails, riding the trails in Sedona, for instance, um, there was some of that that I was that kind of terrain that I was somewhat familiar with, but there was a lot of it that was new to me. And I just I saw I started to see things differently. Um, and, and also, you know, with change, there's times when you're looking at things like if I can use the trail as a metaphor, when I'm looking at those Sedona trails, the they you know, that that rock, those rock trails, I don't know if it's actually slick rock. People call it slick rock, but I kind of looked up the geology of Sedona and I think it's a type of sandstone. Anyway, the terrain looks very different. And when I'd come up to it, I didn't always know what to do because I didn't have the, the, the right eyes. I didn't have Sedona eyes to, to interpret that terrain. But eventually I, I developed Sedona eyes and now I can like, or at least at that time I could see how to ride stuff granted when i rode hogs there was still a bunch of stuff that the exposure was kind of scaring me and i did hike a bit of that stuff in any case it really developed my ability to read the trail and read new trails so now i'm i'm guessing if i go to other locations if i go maybe to um, moab or something i will be more prepped for that type of riding um, I experienced the same thing when I went to Santa Cruz um, and any other time I've, I've ridden other new places. So it really just kind of expands my skill set, makes me more prepared for additional things and makes me more comfortable with other change and, and other comfort. And I think the, the key there is to take those things and bring them home, right? Uh, so uh, one example I can think of is when the first time I drove to Mammoth, I was amazed by the geology that I saw up there on the way there. It was just like beautiful. And uh, coming back to where I live now, I have a greater appreciation for the mountains and the weather and the terrain that we have here. So I was able to bring some of that home. So I think that's key. The, the other thing is seeing what remains the same. Um, uh, going to Sedona, going to Santa Cruz, going to, the, to these other places. Um, there were skill sets that I took with me that I found like, hey, these work other places too. And that just gave me more confidence on my local trails. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think another kind of like uh, character revealing thing that will happen with change is there will be things that bother you and there will be things that, you know, you don't like. You can use those, if you take that learning mindset, you can use those annoyances or those things that bother you as as detectors or like um, little red flags to go, well, why, do, why is it bothering me? What does that reveal to me about my character? Um, you know, um, you know, what is it about like the fact that I can't go to Stell and sit in there and and do my normal thing in there. If that bothers me, why does that bother me? And then, uh, what other ways can I go to to feed those needs or or realize that maybe it's not a need, maybe it's just a a a habit, being aware of my habits. A way of revealing yourself to yourself. 
it can really work like that. So those things, even those things that bother you, those things that suck, they can reveal things to your to you about yourself. So yeah, change. It can be good. Um, and yeah, I'm not just doing this to get you comfortable with air horn. I think this is a minor thing. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for you today. I hope you dug this video. If you did dig this video, hit that like button. If you want to continue getting more content like this, check the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I know there should be at least a couple of hundred of you that should subscribe to the Airhorn channel like right away because I know that there's at least a few hundred of you that regularly watch this um, and um, we've been getting more views on the raw vlog. So raw vlog, um, if you're not on the Airhorn channel now, click the link Go up there, hit the Airhorn channel. It'll also be in the end screen, so you can click on that to subscribe. If you're on the Airhorn channel, hit the subscribe button. Can you tell I want you to subscribe to Airhorn? Um, yeah. I will see you next week. <laughs> Whoa, um, I just totally realized that I forgot about Stoke of the Week. So, Stoke of the Week. Stoke of the Week this week is to see how many, I'm stoked about seeing how many people are responding to these changes to our current events with positivity and finding new ways to reach out and also seeing all the people that are out there um, still working to stay fit, people that are training at home and, and just kind of keeping the Stoke alive. So yeah, okay, that's it.